How are you, Mr. Asa? I am very good, thank you. That's fantastic. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. How, um, you know what, the whole film, you know, in order for us to believe that a 12-year-old will lead us, will save us, the, the actor must be believable. And you got us from the very beginning. Oh, so congratulations on that. Thanks. Now, what attracted you to making the film? Um, I mean, I'm a huge sci-fi fan, so this whole story was amazing for me. And not only that, but the character of this film is so complex, more complex than any character I've played before. And for an actor, having a role which will both push you to your potential, and at the same time, you can have so much fun doing it, is uh, it's the perfect combination. This just ticked every single box for me. How did you prepare for the role? I don't, there was a lot of preparation, both, both physically, so there's a lot of physicality. It's the most physical film I've done ever. And um, there's also the preparation when bringing such a complex character to the screen and a character which millions of people already love. It's, it's always quite a nerve-wracking experience, but I think we pulled it off. And you did, and the character has a lot of inner dialogue that you were able to convey without saying a certain word, a single word. Yeah. You know, that is it part of the preparation too? Yeah, I think I talk with Gavin, the director, a lot about that and how so much of what goes on inside Edna's head is so internal and everything just goes on behind his eyes and because he puts so much thought into every single action he does, it's, it really builds him as the character and as he who he is. And it's why he succeeds so much at the camp. I love all the zero gravity defying um, scenes. Was it fun to shoot? Those were so much fun. I mean, we did have a lot of training on the wires and getting used to be up there for long periods of time. At the same time, you have to make it look like you're in zero gravity. You can't just hang there. You've got to be moving your arms, you've got to be moving your legs. You have so much to think about, but um, yeah, we had so much fun. Oh, how was it working with Ben Kingsley again? You guys have such great chemistry in Hugo. Oh. I love that movie and it's the same here. Thank you. Um, yeah, working with Ben once was an honor. Twice is like, I've been so fortunate and Harrison as well. I think all of the adult actors really brought the best out of us younger actors. And with Ben, it was amazing to see him play two completely, completely different characters and the amount of depth that he goes into when creating them. Was Harrison also like a mentor to you in the shooting the film? It, it was to a lot of us. I think whenever any of them came onto set, it was always like, guys, sharpen up. Let's, let's put on our game face. And when he's there, just observing them and watching him what do what he does is, is really inspirational and you do learn a lot. Oh, you know, what is, what's interesting is, I'm from the Philippines. Um, your name, Asa, it means hope, actually. Oh, really? Asa, I know, right? And it's so cool that an Ender's Game and you're our only I've, I've, I've learned a few things as to what my name means. So really? Like, this trip, yeah. I know, right? Yeah, what, cool. what else did you learn about your name? I learn in Hebrew, it means healer. It means wing in Portuguese. It means little bird in something else. And then it means hope in the Philippines. In the Philippines yeah. And it's so fitting for you with your character. Oh. Now, Ender's Game has so much, it has many different themes, right? But which, which one resonates with you the most? Um, as you said, the, the themes in the book are, are really important and really relevant. And for me, for me, I think the theme about leadership is what really rings true and it's what, not just that, but so many people can get out of it. And I think whenever someone goes to see a film, it's really up to the audience to decide what they want to get out of it. Whether you're going to see it with your children, with your friends, or just your family, your parents, you can get different things out of it. You can have different discussions. and It's a timeless story. Right. Oh, thank you so much. Thank and congratulations. You.